Welcome back guys. So, so far we have this section where we add our product and this is good. Now we need to collect this information and save it in the database. But let's come back to our product.php and we look at, this is the view, and we look at the collect data function. Now something I forgot here, if you say please enter a valid product name, we shouldn't send this over. So here we should put return so that we exit the function. Okay, so product input is equal to that and then we get the value and then we check for it. So we're going to do exactly the same for everything. So let me come back here for a second. So let's use a notepad here for a second. There's some data in here. So I want to type what I need, quantity, and then there's category, and then uh, there's price. And then uh, for image, we'll do it later. For now, we just want quantity, category, and price. Let's go back here. Quantity, category, price. We'll deal with the image later. And product name, which is in fact, description right mm -hmm. description okay so one two three four items mm -hmm. so let me come back here using our reference so exactly what we did here that's what we would do for our evaluation so all i need to do is duplicate this Mm -hmm. Now, what I will do here is I will set this to a, oh, I think that variable is fine, product input. Okay, that's fine. So let's go up here and rename our inputs properly. So there's product name, which, uh, Conveniently, the ID is product, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me come back here and see. Okay, yeah, I used product. Okay, so that's good. So instead of product, uh, we will use uh, description, yeah? We'll use description. Here we we'll use um, quantity. And here we will use uh, category, of course. Now you don't need to use IDs, you can use classes if you want. Uh, for example, here I can say if I, if I want to, um, to differentiate this item because the advantage of classes is you can add many classes like i can say class one class one like that class two and so on and then if i use a query selector and look for class one it will still find this one or if i call for class two it will still get this now the advantage of this is you can use js classes like you can say js and then you say uh, category like this so at least you know that uh, this is only used to retrieve this item from JavaScript. That's where, that way this class is different from one that has actual styles. So you could do it this way. We'll do it this way for maybe the edit so that you can see that method as well. But we can also use IDs just like this. So here ID is price. And then finally, this one is image. Let me change these others to remaining. Oh, wait a minute. Ah. So this one will be image two. This one image three this one image four 
Okay, pretty good. So let's come back down here and... Uh, uh -huh. Collect data. So instead of product input, we'll say uh, quantity input. So I'll just do this. Quantity. So that changes everything. Quantity. Valid quantity. We don't need name at the end. And then same thing again. Let's duplicate. So category. Like that. Price. like that okay so we have quantity we have category we have price very good here all right so now when sending the data if we reach this point then everything is good so at this point instead of data here uh, I am going to say uh, description and then I'll use product input dot value dot trim so I'll put this here so this will be kind of like a template for everything else so I'll just duplicate this a couple of times and description I'll say quantity and then here to be quantity. Actually, this is the template. So let me do that, duplicate this. So quantity, category, and then finally price. Okay, so to make, to see these uh, much better, you can still, um, you can do this, I guess. Oh, what have I done? Oh, what's going on here? Wow. Uh, yeah, something like this, so that you can see it much more clear. So add product, that's what it is. Okay. So now that we have collected our data, let's go to the Ajax product controller and let's see what we've got. So here um, we get the data and then data type is add product, which is good. And check is a good product create data. Okay, so before we reach this point, let me tell it to die and then instead we will um, show what do we show hmm. let's show um, the data like that okay and then let me come back to products here when the handle result comes back We'll console.log the result there, and that's good. Okay, so refresh, click here. Uh, canned beef, quantity, two, category, meat, the price, maybe 10.99 or 999. And that's it so let's click save and let's go to inspect our element and let's go to the console and uh, we have a few errors here so product input is no so now i think i forgot something the reason it's no is because we don't have product anymore we have description so change that to description and that should sort the problem out so refresh Click here, 
back to kinned beef. A few quantities, category meat, price 9.99. Uh, the error is already there. Okay, so product input is no. So this happened uh, when I clicked on click listener and it went to show add new. So let's come back here. Where is show add new? But anyway, before we even do that, let's try and hit save. Okay, so collect data, product input is no. So we still have that problem. Can I find out where that is if I click here? Okay. So if product input value description, okay. So let's see what product input really is supposed to be. And there it is, the ID is description. So let me copy that, come down here, show add new right there, product input. So let's put description there, paste, and then, uh, Okay, so I forgot an S here, that's why. Okay, so that should work out now. So let's refresh one more time. Console, add new, canned beef, a few quantities, category meat, 9.99, and save. Please enter a valid quantity. Ooh. But the quantity is valid. Oh, sorry about this. I forgot one thing. The stuff we're checking for here is wrong. So first of all, if the quantity is not empty, that's good. And if not is a number, so this we have to remove the not. If is not a number, then that's when we'll say that category input so the category has nothing to do with numbers we just have to check if it's uh, empty like that okay but actually the value is a number so it should be a number like an integer okay and then the price has nothing to do with numbers oh yes it does so the price has to be a number as well all right so it seems we are just getting numbers except for the very first item that's awesome. So refresh. Let's do that again. Canned beef, a few quantities, category meat, 9.99. Save. Okay, so this is what we get back here. Description. So our data is going in very well. So don't mind the syntax error here. It's because we are echoing this out. Okay, so everything uh, looks good. So in the next video, we'll just uh, save to the database.